Hey guys, uh, Mangrani Kid here, the Honorable Warrior, the Omni Geek High Lord of New York. How's everybody doing out there? How are my other fellow Omni Geeks doing? Um, here, guys, to kind of give you a thought reaction vid, I'm going to watch the Ant, the, the new domestic trailer for Ant-Man. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to give my thoughts on it. Uh, so, uh, enjoy me, see what my reactions will be, and uh, I'll get back to you. So, I'm going to see what this trailer is all about. And, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to enjoy it. Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> How ironic. Oh, oh, we got a date now. Okay. Uh oh, oh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, that's badass. What a train. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, that actually had me laughing. Uh, okay. Um, all right, guys. Um, so I watched the trailer. And um, I got to say, uh, it it's still cool to see, you know, um, this happening. Once again, like I said, uh, I like Ant-Man. I've always liked Ant-Man. And me and my friend, we were talking the other night about it. My friend Kyle and I, we were talking about we're getting our first legacy character. You know, Ant-Man being the first legacy character of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, being the fact that, yes, Hank Pym was the first, and now we got Scott Lang. You know, uh, Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas, was Ant-Man in the 70s or so. So... Now and now, Scott Lang is the modern era one, and of course we have this this father like you know we got a father in this. Uh, it still seems that it's still based on a heist, but we get a more of a glimpse of what this trailer seemed to give me was more of a glimpse of what happens when the heist goes wrong or the people find out the people you stole from find out what happened, and. Um, I like the idea of what they're, they're solidifying here is that, uh, you know, maybe making 
so a little bit of a military feel to it of like you know making military small and you know by using that we can get past enemy lineup surround them before they even you know that's kind of the vibe I was getting from it um the 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 scenes where he changed size and he was you know small when I, I you saw me just geek out of that was great I love my favorite probably was where he he flips up on top of the the, the gun and he's just jettison that was really good and you get to see more of his you know the, the allies his ants you know he gets to he was in like I guess he was in an ant tunnel and he was talking and he was looking at all the ants and they, he's running with them I thought that was great yellow jacket looks pretty good I, it, it it has a vibe of uh, a lot of Super Sentai, Beetleborgs, you know, stuff like that. Um, I like the arms kind of have like their, mean, meaning more of a glimpse. They have lasers and things like that. It still has the color scheme of Yellow Jacket, the black and yellow, that's fine. Uh, Ant-Man's costume looks great. The suit is great. Um, I loved seeing, you know, <laughs> I guess Hank, uh, uh, Scott doesn't know how to punch correctly. And, you know, Hope, uh, Pim had to show him. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, and um, you know, I thought it was ironic. You know, he's like, "You, know, my days of robbing are over." You know, what? You, just tell me what I need to do, and then Hank Pym says, "I need you to rob some, you know, basically steal a lot of steal some, the breaking and stuff, and steal it." And he's like, "Oh yeah, okay." Uh, but other than that, you know, it, it was good. Um, very much. Um, I'm looking forward to the I, my. My geekiness is still looking forward to this because of the fact that, yeah, this is Ant-Man. Um, he, A lot of people discredit Ant-Man in a sense, and I hate that. You know, I hate people discredit. I love size manipulation characters, characters that can get big or get small and things like that. I love that. And uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing how the world is going to look like when they're small. And even... In that last scene where we see them on top of like a, a toy train set, it looked like a, a train they were really on. I thought it was funny that it was Thomas the Train. <laughs> but um, other than that, guys, um, this was this was great. Uh, the trailer was great. Uh, don't think I need to see any more. Um, we got our official date now. That's great. Um, well, it's not great because we already knew the date, but. Um, Glad they're showing it now, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you know where this takes off. You know, hope this leads into maybe, you know, who we know we know because as it's always been said, you know, especially with the Avengers lineup, the lineup's gonna change, and hopefully maybe Scott Lang can be a part of the Avengers. You know, sometime in the future, I would love to see him on there. Uh, but other than that, it was good. I very much enjoyed it. I mean, if you want to go back and just look at my reactions. You know, you can go ahead, but uh, like I said, you know, I very much you know enjoyed this trailer. You know, um, you know, I don't think uh, I don't think Yellow Jack is going to be really that special in terms of villain wise. You know, uh, as of right now, in terms of the Marvel villains, uh, right now who leads that charge is Kingpin. Uh, is is uh, Vincent Nofrio's Kingpin. It's flat out, hands down, best villain so far in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Best villain. Uh, but, you know, they you, got, you need a, a good villain to match up with, you know, Ant-Man in terms of him getting small. So they, they, I guess they went with Yellow Jacket, even though Yellow Jacket was the, you know. But uh, I, I liked it, guys. I very much did. Uh, no complaints, really, whatsoever. Like I said, the, the size, when he's small, those are my favorites. I, I love that. I thought that was great. You know, um, and uh, I'll probably watch this, uh, this vid. I'll probably watch the trailer plenty of times, even after this vid goes up, you know, uh, depending on when this will go up. I don't know when I'll put it up, but I'll put it up soon uh, whenever it goes up, like I said. But other than that, it was... Uh, I enjoyed this very much, very, very much, uh, very much indeed. But other than that, you guys tell me what you thought about uh, the new trailer for the Ant-Man movie. Uh, be honest, guys. Please don't, you know, I, I respect honesty. If you don't like it, fine. If you 
feel that is eh, fine. If you feel that, if you like it like I do, fine. If you respect Ant-Man, the character, the legacy of Ant-Man, and you feel that this is good, great. Just be honest with me. Keep it real. I I keep it real with you guys 100%. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. If I hate it, I'll tell you I hate it. But if I like it and I love it, I'm going to tell you. Always, that's the one thing I always tell my subscribers. Keep it real with me. That's it. Just keep it real. But other than that, my fellow Omni Geek High Lords, peace and love. Stay tuned. Keep it real, guys. I'll see you next time with another vid. Don't worry. I'll be back. Y'all take care.